I'm in the Vermont State House, standing in front of the Senate Natural Resources and Energy Committee room, where just this morning, S5, the Affordable Heating Act, was passed out unanimously. The bill is a reprise of the clean heat standard the legislature passed last year, only to be vetoed by Governor Phil Scott. It imposes a sales fee on fuel dealers and distributes some of the proceeds to weatherization and other non-fossil fuel energy alternatives. Supporters claim it will save money in the long run because electricity, at least now, is often cheaper than fossil fuels. But critics say the cost of transitioning from oil, propane, and natural gas heat to electric-powered heat pumps places an undue burden on lower-income Vermonters. This morning's vote was unanimous, despite committee member Windsor County Senator Richard McCormick's recent expressions of concern about the bill's lack of clarity. McCormick this morning told the Vermont Daily Chronicle that social media claims that opposed the bill were overblown. After weeks of committee testimony and wildly varying claims on the price tag to consumers, what S5 will cost still appears uncertain. Jared Duval, a Vermont Climate Council member and official of a renewable power organization, said the Scott administration estimate of 70 cents per gallon of heating fuel is too high. Myers Mermel, president of the free market Ethan Allen Institute, told the committee Wednesday that reaching climate goals on time will require far more than an added 70 cents per gallon. Mermel told the committee, the carbon doom spiral will punish low and moderate income Vermonters with higher and higher fuel charges and no greater ability to fund changeover renovations, Mermel said. There will be no promised price protection for them. And as renovations lag, climate goals will be missed. The carrot and stick approach will be just sticks with no carrots. This new heat standard will increase income inequality and will become a new system which oppresses low and moderate income Vermonters. The Affordable Heat Act will increase, not diminish, suffering. This is Guy Page for the Vermont Daily Chronicle.